Hi, it's Kristen, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to navigate Schoology if you are in a support role here at the high school and you want to take a look at a student's course or you want to take a look at um, something from a student's perspective. So I'm going to show you how to do that by navigating using tools and the advisor dashboard. You should all have the ability to navigate to different teacher courses. It's a little bit tricky, um, so following my video should help you with that. So one of the things that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are not typing in the whole name. Um, if I start typing in a name, it will start to populate, and I want to make sure that it populates versus pushing return, and then sometimes it won't take me to the correct person. So I'm going to maybe not go to Mr. Wardle, but I could. Um, I could check on any teacher's page. So let's say I'm going to go to Mr. Wallace's page. I want to click on his name at the top, and then over here I'll see his courses, um, and I'll see his groups. Now, if he teaches more courses than this, I may need to do see all. I don't see a see all on his because he doesn't have as many courses. Uh, but I'm going to go into his eighth grade phi ed class. And now I'm in his eighth grade phi ed class, and I can see what he has coming up on the calendar. Once staff are consistently using updates, I could also click into his updates and see what he has posted um, for the day. He is not used to using updates yet. I think he'll he's okay with me telling you that, um, but it would be easy to see those there. Um, I could go into another teacher's course. I know Mr. Bray just recently posted some updates uh, for his class. Again, I, I wait for it to populate. Bray then I click on Bray. And then over here, I'd want to go to the specific course where I'd want to find out information. This might be a little tricky for some teachers. For example, Mr. Bray is also enrolled in my English class because uh, we share materials back and forth. So you may just need to get kind of used to which course you're going into. Um, and if you have questions about that, you can reach out to that specific teacher. But again, you can see Mr. Bray has his course materials. He has what's coming up. He's posted some updates to his students with the end of the quarter. So you can read those there. Another thing that you can do with the advisor tool dashboard is you could go into a specific student's uh, class schedule. So I'm going to pull that up for Will Wallace. And if I click on William, now I could go into the specific courses that he has. So if I wanted to, I knew that I was trying to help Will with his English class, I could go ahead and click into English. I could see then right away what his um, materials were, what was coming up. I could look for any updates that his teacher may have posted uh, about what's happening in that class. So if I'm, I'm trying to help a specific student, again, you're gonna go into the advisor dashboard. You would type in that student's name, click on that student, and then once you get to that student, you have to click a second time in order to see their courses. And from this course place, you can pick the course that you specifically want to take a look at in order to see how they're doing in that course. If you still have questions on how to use the advisor dashboard and navigate Schoology, please uh, join me for a Zoom help session tomorrow, Thursday at 1 o'clock.